Racing games have been a major part of video game history, all the way from Space Race back in 1970 to childhood classics like Monaco GP and the PlayStation Big Shot Crash Team Racing. All the way to the more realistic games such as Need for Speed and Burnout. Today, we take a look through the Nintendo eStore for some racing games on the Nintendo Switch that might have been overshadowed by the current biggest boy on the block, Mario Kart. Number 4. Top Bike, Racing, and Moto Drag Racing games generally follow a formula that puts emphasis on speed management and steering. Top Bike throws this all out of the window by stripping motorbike racing to the very barest of bones, gear management. Instead of steering your vehicle to victory, or into walls if you're me, Top Bike is a game of timing. Switch gears at the right moment or end up losing all of your speed and subsequently the race. It's simple, maybe overly so, but each race lasts less than a minute and the customization options that act as a meta progression aren't shabby. Treat it like a mini game instead of an actual racing game and it's a fairly decent time waster for short breaks. Number 3. Aquamoto Racing Utopia From the straightforward streets of bike racing, we now head over into choppy waters. Aquamoto Racing Utopia starts off strong with what is probably my favorite part of every game. Character Creation Sure, my character looks like a blocky sim, but it's mine. Now take this character, put it on a jet ski, and play against AI opponents or up to 4 players in multiplayer across various game modes such as boy racing or freestyle stunts, and you get Tony Hawk Pro Skater except on water. Add in some unpredictable water physics, the fact that the jet ski steers like an agitated river otter, and the darkly amusing way the announcer shouts, That's gotta hurt. Every time your created character flunks a stunt and belly flops on the water, and you get a fairly amusing game to pick up and play for short bursts at a time. Number 2. Mechanic Battle In the intro, I mentioned Monaco GP, which was a fairly significant part of my childhood. Yes, that means I'm old. And Mechanic Battle takes Monaco's top-down locked camera view and plops it down with customization options, meta progression, and some funny car physics. The game itself is simple once you get past the unfamiliarity of top-down locked camera racing game controls, and the stages do get repetitive, but the game still provides a decent chunk of entertainment for what it is. In games like these, customization is king, and when you get your first ugly car fine, you'll probably end up paying thousands for paint jobs and decals out of spite alone. Number 1 Overlanders Overlanders brings us back to the classic racing game formula of speed management and steering, but with the addition of prequel me. Pod racing, panned everywhere, a game mode that involves a desert monster, and of course, the tragedy of Dark Brain the Wall Crasher. The graphical presentation is impressive, featuring speeds that blur up the passing landscape and the nifty omnipresent engine damage sign flashing on my screen. The two stick controls take some getting used to, and actually managing to maneuver your way through a series of rocky obstacles is a perfectly valid shot of dopamine. Add in a game mode where the racers have to kill a large desert monster, using classic racing game question mark boxes as weapons, all while navigating the course at high speeds, and you get brains pick of the litter. And that concludes today's video. This has been Brain on Wolfie, signing out. Deja vu, I've just been in this place before, higher on the street, and I know it's my time to go. <laughs>